again, and I'd like to introduce you to the Keiba 1075 controller, which is just out in the U.S. market. It is very similar to the 4030 controller that everyone's used to. As you can see, it has a full color feature. Uh, the only big, major difference is it is no longer a touchscreen control, that it is keypad controlled. As you can see, you still have the same view page, mold page, uh, to go through and cycle through the different settings, you push the arrow keys up and down. That will bring you through all the settings. You have the close, which has three um, stages. The open has four stages. You also have quick close, cooling time, auto delay. For functions, which are your um, setup page functions, you have mold protection time, high close off delay, high close on delay. In your parameters, you have your mold close, mold open, pressures and flow for setup. Along with high pressure hold and your stages of open and close. Very much like the uh, 4030, it'll display the min max functions down below. So anytime you highlight one of the functions, it will display the minimum and maximum function for that feature. As you can see, you have five open and five closed stages. The injection overview page has the same operation, pressure flow position for your injection, pressure flow in position for your hold. You can select which mode you want to use over here for your cutoff, position, pressure, or time, and your time threshold and your pressure threshold. Also has gas and jack, auto purge, and your auto purge setup. Cold drop, intrusion, your injection for your setup um, function, max injection time, and your injection stages. You're allowed six injection and five hold. For your charge, you have the same principle, position, pressure, flow, and back pressure. Uh, decompression or suck back, you have pres position, pressure, flow, and time. If suck back mode, you can either turn it off, go on time or position. You have five stages of charge. Ejectors. Again, you have position, pressure, flow, and delay. If you want to eject a delay time, you can add it there. Number of ejectors you'd like to have, which are your ejection strokes, all the way up to 99 strokes. Air blow is positioned down at below here. You can either turn it on or off, and that's for your moving and fixed platen. And air blow two, same functions. Use your ejector backward function, back, backward time, you can link them, and link active position. That's your setup for your ejectors in, in uh, setup mode. Cores, you have different types of cores. You can select off, core, or screw. You can go by time or limit switch so you select which function you want and how you would like to use the feature. Here's your core pressure flow, positions, times, and set count, screw count. So you can actually count the number of screw cycles. Core A hold or link, core B hold or link, and your priorities. And you have your core robot. Core in delays, core out delays, proportional delays, velocity delays. 
tolerances, cushion, all our features available on the 1075. Nozzle settings, you have your nozzle forward, fast, nozzle forward slow, nozzle back settings, you can choose your back mode, off, after charge, before mold open, after eject. You have your mold adjust and robot functions. Nozzle delay back, nozzle forward delay. Use robot, so you can tie in the robot with the carriage. Set up pressures for the nozzle when you're in setup mode. It's your mold adjust. Temperature settings. Keep warm and your cool prevent. Hopper settings and hopper alarm settings. This is your temperature control to turn it on, auto heating. This you can turn off each zone or set by PID or setting by, by manual input. So tolerance high and low alarms, oil alarms, alarm auto stop, and alarm motor off. So after a desired time, it will shut your motor off at, um, after the alarm sets um, alarm sounds. So if you have an alarm, the motor will shut off after the amount of time designated in that box. And you have your oil temperature settings. Quick overview page. You can do a quick setup of all the functions, all at one page, at one glance. The stages allow, allow you to change the number of stages on each of the functions. The I.O. This will display your alarms. This will display all the I.O.s or the analog inputs analog outputs, digital inputs, digital outputs, temperature inputs, panel inputs. As you, as you select it should highlight which feature you're actually using. I have an info log which tells you a little bit about the software and the hardware. Quality, can track your cycle times. More quality function setups. Actually, we'll go back. We have a graph set overview. Data. You can save your state report to USB, copy the screenshot to USB, copy the quality log to USB. These functions allow you to delete those. Set up, set your language, screensaver, brightness, time, status report. It also goes through all the engineering functions. And that's the overview of our Kaba 1075 controller. Thank you.